Okay. Um, it actually is. We're very blessed. Uh, we do have roof damage and um, a lot of trees down and um, just debris everywhere. But uh, just a couple of doors down from us, there is a house that no longer has a roof. Uh, a couple of doors down from them, they no longer have their second story. So um, I'm on 8th Avenue, which is right in the northeast part of uh, town that has been so devastated uh, by the storm. Yes, we uh, obviously uh, spend all kinds of volunteers over where we are. Uh, because of the devastation, there are still a lot of people that cannot use their vehicles. Um, either they're damaged or they are locked in or um, maybe they are just so caught up in trying to do repairs and cut trees down. So since we were not um, hit so hard, we are doing a lot of the running back and forth. My vehicle is fine. And so, you know, supplies that they may need, uh, we're running back and forth. Um, one cute little thing I do want to mention, my daughters have kind of felt a little helpless because at their age, they're not allowed to really do a whole lot of um, grunt work, if you will. So they made cookies this morning and wanted us to drive around and give those to the people that were volunteering and helping out just to put a smile on their face. So, One of the ways that people can keep up with what we may or may not need, um, because you know those, the, those needs are going to change as more volunteers are coming in and things are taken care of and completed, is through social networking. Obviously, because uh, social networking is available to all, you want to make sure that whatever source you're using is credible. Um, but in the very beginning, you know, we needed just basic supplies. People didn't have anything. I think now some of the needs for clothing or uh, certain things like that is not as uh, integral as it was. I'm seeing a lot of people requesting basically gift cards. Um, for now, uh, the, the people are, okay, well, I've got this, I have this, I have this, but I still need this. If they're not able to make it to these locations, that's why people like me are doing what I'm doing. We're running back and forth and getting work gloves and buckets and tools that they may need um, in their yard. But, um, sorry guys, I am so sleepy. <laughs> I've not slept good since the storm came through, but uh, being an employee of JSU, this has been It's been really hard because not only is our neighborhood hurting, but the college that I love so much is hurting. But the beauty in all of it is that we've come together. And I've seen so many, so many wonderful things since this has happened.